if you travel Luang Prabang from Vang Vien, prepare for a five to six hour bumpy bus ride. It's uh, very early in the morning and there's a reason for that because we are going to see something the monks do every morning here at the dawn and they uh, go up to the villagers and they get um, they get their food from the villagers. Here we are again. Earlier and darker. Earlier and darker. It's super early now. Come on, bring on the monks. <laughs> What do you think? It's like everyone just comes out and films them, so it's a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my opinion on it. <laughs> it's hot. I have Damn. to wear pants. Yes, you're uh, all settled and you need this for your shoulders. And I need to sweat to death, so that's fun. We realized that this is the National Museum and then we will go cool off at our Airbnb and then we're going for a shot. That's nice, yeah. You're gonna get some tickets. Uh, I think it's about uh, 35 degrees. <sighs> I can't wait to go inside. I hope it's a little bit cooler in there. It wasn't any cooler inside. And after we visited Xiang Chong, we decided that we were becoming a little bit temple tired. Another thing you do here when you're up early, before it gets really hot, is to climb Mount Pussy. Yes, you heard it correctly, Mount Pussy. We reached the top and uh, it's a nice view, but there's always like this, this dirty white haze uh, over the city. On our way back to town, we met Obi. Obi invited us to join him in his beautiful home to talk about his project, Keep Helping Each Other. Keep Helping Each Other, or GAL, is a project that aims to keep the school supply. And the mainly of the project that we try to motivate the kids to go to the school is because in my country, especially in the North Four provinces, such as Long Prabang, Udom Sai, Long Nam Tha, and Bokel, this those provinces, there are still many ethnic groups of priority live in the very far away and they miss the opportunity to study. So keep helping each other or this project try to be a path of a person who can help and who can give the opportunities to those students and to come to the school. You will find more about this project later on this channel and there is a Facebook page link below this video. The Kuang Si waterfall is a must see. But on your way there, there is another hotspot which we found very much worth visiting. And that is Laos Buffalo Dairy. They make ice cream, coffee milk and even this delicious cheesecake all from buffalo milk. We got a tour from this wonderful lady. We fed the buffaloes. We hugged the buffaloes. And some of them were a little bit nosy. One is very cheeky and very demanding. Come yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also fed the little buffaloes. Here's one for you. Ooh. Oh, the little guy over there. Well, this thing. is like giving candy to a baby. They don't yeah, eat. right? Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> She's like, here, come here. Oh. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, got milk. <laughs> and Angie fed the piggies.
So back to the Guangxi waterfall. Don't be fooled by these shots because there are quite a lot of tourists uh, here. But if you walk up or down the stream, you're sure to find a quiet spot just for yourself. And one last thing, if you stay in Long Prabang, we recommend Hardes and Sophie's place. We love staying there and talking to them and they have a great place just beside the Mekong River. See all the links below, also for more restaurants we liked. And remember, if you like this, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe because we are going to Thailand.